This is my brand new custom seat from La Para for my 2024 Harley Davidson Lowrider ST Tobacco Fade. Now there was a lot of thought, a lot of time, and a lot of effort that went into getting the seat done, um, specifically the way it's done right here. I wanted something really, really special for this special bike that I have right here in the back. Um, I had a custom seat from La Para on my Rogue Glide. Uh, that seat was phenomenal. I had another custom seat on my FXR from La Para, another great seat. And then I had another custom seat on my Lowrider S. Um, that was more of a simple style. And every design after that has kind of been raising the level up a bit more. Uh, I wanted something wild. I wanted something that was gonna scream out as soon as you know you 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 got off your bike and the seat was right there just sitting on it. Um, something special, something different. So something I always like and, and I want to give to you guys, the viewers, it's just something different. I don't want to bring you guys the same thing that you've either seen on this channel before or have seen on the other channels. Always pushing the envelope, always doing something different, something weird, something to stand out. I'm not sure if you guys caught that MK87 right there in back of the seat. But anyways, let's put the seat on the bike, let's see how it looks, and then we'll go over all the details and everything, all fabrics, all just all the goodies on this seat right here. <laughs> oh yes. Perfect. Just what I needed. I definitely have that back support now that I was missing on here. This bike, when, when you're on this bike and, and, and you're hitting those high speeds and you're switching gears, it just wants to kind of launch you back and Having this backrest right here kind of just supports you. It doesn't allow you to move anywhere and you just feel more comfortable riding on the bike. Now it is going to lift you up a bit more. I'm 5'7". I was, um, I was able to flat foot this bike before. Now I'm almost able to flat foot it. Um, so it does lift you up a bit. And then, I mean, I still feel comfortable as well. Seat's very important, guys. The seat is always gonna gonna change your your riding style a bit uh, when it comes to comfort and even ergonomics. A seat could either lift you up, bring you down, push you forward, uh, push you back. As far as the distance from me to the bar, I feel really, 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 really comfortable now. Um, a little bit better actually. Now let's talk about this seat in particular right here. All the materials on it. Why? and how we came up with this design and the reason why we went with all the patterns and colors and stitches and everything on here. All right, so this is the La Para tail whip for soft tails. You'll see that unique design right here where it just whips up in the back right here and the tail of the seat, hence tail whip. Um, beautiful design, it really gives a bike a nice look, a uh, nice design. I went ahead and I chose the Alcantara for the seat portion as well as the back portion where the passenger sits at. Um, I really liked the the feel on it when I had it on my uh, the tail whip that I had on my Rogue Glide. So I, it, it's just a really nice, unique fabric to have on a seat. It, it looks really good. You can rub your fingers through it, and you can see the kind of kind of the colors change. Um, really, really nice. Now, as far as the stitching, you're gonna see that we have that red and that brownish goldish stitching right here right here where the rider sits right here in the back where the passenger sits at initially i was gonna do uh, uh diamond stitching um uh but dante over at la para switched the pattern on me to this and i'm really happy the way that turned out as well now working our way right here you're gonna see we're gonna have that distressed brown leather really really nice it feels very buttery 
very high-end leather. I really like the distressed look on there. It just, it just looks really cool. It gives it an old-school vibe, especially with that Lapera logo stitching on here, that 70s style, and then you're gonna have that distressed leather with this Gibson inspired paint job. It just kind of all meshes in together. Really, really good. You're gonna have your Lapera branding right here in red on the side patch right there. And then working our way to the back, one of my favorite parts about the seat, you're gonna have the Lapera logo on the side panel right here. And that's gonna be in that, that goldish brownish color once again. It looks really, really good. I think it, it kind of complements the paint really nice. Um, and then the material that we use for the side panel is the basket weave. I had the basket weave material on the original seat that I had on my low rider S. And I had it right here where the rider, uh, the rider portion of the seat was. And I really like the material, the basket weave. I think it's really nice. I think it's a little bit um, underrated, if I may say. It's a really cool material. It looks really cool. And especially with the stitching on here, it just complements it very, very, very nice. Now towards the back of the seat, you're gonna have more of that distressed brown leather. And you know we had to brand the bike. We got the MK87 stitching in the back right there. So we got the MK87 stitching. We got the Lapera right there. Oh, I'm really, really happy the way this seat came out. I mean, it was just like, I, I, I sat down for days and for weeks and, and it, just thinking about what ideas to throw and, and what to do with this seat. Um, I had a bunch of other different ideas, but uh, I'm happy that everything that I had in mind kind of, you know, it, it, it meshed all well together. Um, some of you might not like it. Some of you might say, well, this is too wild. There's too much or whatever, but I, I think it's cool. I wanted something different. I wanted something to stand out. Um, obviously a seat that could kind of make a, a, a statement on its own. Um, and it's a custom seat, so when, when, you're, when you're looking for custom, you want it to be different. You want it to be custom to your liking. That's a great option that LaPera gives you, so if you want to hit them up, if you want to get your own custom seat done, whatever it is, hit them up on their uh, website, their Instagram. They, uh, they answer pretty quick most of the time. Great customer service. Huge, huge shout out to my guy Dante over there for making this thing come all together the way it did. It looks great. I'm super happy with it. I want to get some miles on it as well and just, you know, talk a little bit more about the seat down the line, maybe a few weeks from now. Um, I'm going to be taking a ride up to Laconia. That's a six hour ride up to New Hampshire next month, maybe like in three weeks, three or four weeks. Um, so I could, I, I think I'll do the video after that. Um, definitely put a lot of miles on there and, um, and give you guys some some feedback. The number one thing I like about La Paris seats as well, guys, is the fact that there's kind of the break-in period that you have on a seat. Other seats you buy and they're hard as a brick and you can put a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand miles on them and then they'll still feel like it's a brand new seat where it's like there's there's no breaking period, you know? But this is different. It's, it's, it's comfortable from the beginning. It feels great. Quality on here is A1. Made in the US of A. Handmade. It's a high quality seat and the brand just speaks for itself. What do you guys think? Drop your thoughts in your comments down below. Do you think it complements the bike well? Do you think it doesn't? Is it too much? Do you hate it? If you hate it, it's cool. Drop your thoughts. I'm, I, I really want, I just want to know what you guys think. You know, I love it. I personally think it's awesome. That's going to be it. If you want to see more content like this, you're definitely in the right place. There's going to be a lot of mods and parts coming in the next few weeks. This bike will be ready before Laconia. So we got a month to get her dialed in with everything else. So if you want to see that type of content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, all that good stuff, guys. We're working our way up to 40K soon. We're almost at 35,000. So subscribe. A lot of you guys out there are watching and you don't subscribe. So hit the subscribe button. It'll help the channel out. It'll allow me to keep showing you cool stuff like this. Anyways, like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.